To extend the value and production options, food preservation in glass jars, also known as canning, can be done. Here, the existing cooker is complemented with an optional large cooking vessel. This can give three times more capacity than the Vitagoat cooker alone, while both are heated from the same boiler. The large pot can be sourced locally and connected with the supplied parts. Malnutrition Matters was selected as one of the 22 winners of the World Bank 2007 Global Development Marketplace for a project to provide a midday meal to 15,000 primary school students in rural Orissa, together with the local NGO partner Bizwa. Malnutrition in rural Orissa is quite severe, with over 50% of the children malnourished. These scenes show the first Vitagoat pilot site in Antapali, a village of 800 people near Sambalpur in western Orissa. In addition to providing much-needed protein and micronutrients to school children, the Orissa Vitagoat project provides jobs to disadvantaged women in very small villages, which typically have no electricity or running water. Feeding seven to eight hundred children six days a week requires that at least ten batches of soy milk are made, yielding 150 liters of milk. Operation begins at about 3.30 a.m. and continues until about 9 a.m. The soy milk has sugar added and is fortified with micronutrients to provide the maximum health benefit to the children. Every Vitagoat serves about 20 one-room schools that each have 35 to 40 students. The soy milk, together with a piece of bread, is delivered in milk cans by bicycle. Each school is no more than 10 kilometers from the Vitagoat. Local partner Bizwa has established a number of innovative schools in rural Orissa. The teacher ladles out 200 milliliters of soy milk and passes out the bread. Attendance at some schools has increased shortly after the introduction of the bread and soy milk feeding, as the children enjoy this type of food more than their normal meals of rice and dal. Bizwa has launched over 100 micro-enterprise projects, benefiting over 20,000 self-help groups. Bizwa plays a critical role not only in the implementation of the project, but also by financing 75% of the capital cost of the Vitagoats with a loan through its microfinance division to these self-help groups. Locally made soy milk is the least expensive complete protein available in India. A liter of soy milk costs about 6.5 rupees, or about 15 cents, to make. Dairy milk is about twice as expensive and is not readily available. This school feeding project is sustainable because the women's self-help groups are able to use the revenue from the feeding program to pay not only their salaries and the costs of food inputs, but also pay back the loan for the Vitagoat. Each Vitagoat system, of which there will be over 20, provides jobs for at least six women and two men. In addition to making soy milk for schools, the self-help groups are encouraged and self-motivated to make tofu, or soya paneer, for sale to local restaurants and vendors. This generates extra income for the women. The children are not only malnourished, but also battle intestinal parasites and infectious diseases. The protein and micronutrients provided by the soy milk strengthen their immune systems, giving them a better chance for normal development.
Sai will do what I did do. Who Sai will do? I mean, I did the fetch water for drink. Who Sai fed the fish, the picking eye, the cry sorrow. Who Sai fed the fish, salon no get rest for him. In 2003, the Canadian charity First Steps started a soy milk program in North Korea with multiple Vita cows and help from Malnutrition Matters. Also known as soy cows, these are reliable electric cousins of the Vita goat system. When the first Vita goat became available in 2005, it was immediately adopted by the First Steps program and the local personnel. Now there are more than 10 systems in North Korea with many more required. Fuel for the boilers includes dried corn cobs, which are sometimes just agricultural waste. Tofu is also made as a popular premium food. A thousand poor or orphaned children can receive a daily soy milk serving from each system, with eight hours of production. These operations support urban schools and orphanages, and collective farms with large populations of children.